Hello everyone, my name is Pablo Cortez and I would like to discuss with you again about correlation in biostatistics. So this is the part two of the video because I decided to do this video because it is important to know how can we apply the correlation to our clinical practice. So let's go. When we have a positive correlation, one variable goes up and the other also goes up. One example for it is that uh, the levels of exercise during the week are correlated positive with a better condition of sleep. Uh, in a positive correlation, we can have also one variable going down and the other also going down. One example for it is the reducing smoking are correlated with a reduced incidence of lung cancer. When we talk about a negative correlation, it means what? It means that one variable goes up and the other goes down. Or the first goes down and the second goes up. One example for it could be the levels of depression increased are correlated with a reduced quality of life in those individuals. Mukaka in his article will say the size of correlation and the, and the interpretation we can get it from. So 0 0.90 to 1 point could be positive or negative, more, stronger will be the correlation. While zero, more closer to zero, will be, an, uh, will be no association or correlation between the, the, the both continuous variables, okay? So we're done for now, thank you very much, and I hope you, you enjoyed the video.